Still over half an hour until the opening bell on Wall Street. Joining us now, Julie Beal, Chief Market Strategist at Kanye Anderson Rudnick and a CNBC contributor. Julie, I'm trying to figure out. So you, you think that uh, we don't see a lot of conviction uh, in this rally and that the, the response we had this latest uh, when we reported results, a little bit tepid. So investors aren't really feeling overly confident. Is that good or isn't it always good to have a little bit of, uh, you don't want bullishness to get too, too high. That can be a negative. Absolutely. I think healthy skepticism is a good thing. And that's why I don't think that we're in for a world of hurt, right? Because even investors themselves feel like, uh, you know, I have a little bit of anxiety about things. And that's not usually when the market kind of falls apart, right? Things usually fall apart when there's way too much euphoria. But I think what surprised me is just watching how so many of these companies would report kind of mediocre results and they would get absolutely hammered and punished. It's like investors are a bunch of skittish cats freaking out when anything is remotely not great. And I think that's an indication that they feel forced into this rally. They feel forced into the market because they were too defensive at the beginning of the year. And now at the merest whiff of any kind of trouble, they're out. So I think that's an important implication that you need to be focused on quality because that's where at least you're going to see earnings durability. But as you sort of intimated, it can be it can be kind of a bullish sign as well, as long as the rally is not believed. But you don't want to own those stocks that get hammered if they have average results either. Yeah, I think that's right. You really have to be choosy. What gives me confidence is not just that investors are overly cautious, but companies too, right? It, it's exactly the word you use, timid. A lot of the commentary, the guidance by most managements, it's pretty timid. They're not out there spending like drunken sailors. That's a positive thing in terms of we're probably not going all the way over on the other side with this euphoria. Whether it actually is positive or negative long term for equity markets, it really depends who you're invested in. And I think that's why you have to be very selective. This is not the time for passive. Well, that might be a, a conversation uh, for, for a later date since it's, uh, wow, it's, it's all, it's about, we got about 40 seconds left, uh, Emily. So, so all in all, should you be worried about being in this market or, as you say, just be selective? I think you just have to be selective. I think you always want to be invested in the market because trying to market time is absolutely Difficult. a fool's errand. But I think you need to be choosy.